thank you for joining us in lovely Oakville. Do you come to Oakville very often? I don't. I live in Toronto. I know. So. It feels like a foreign country for it people does. coming out here, it's huh? a whole new world. There is an Oakville passport that you can get. So, you know, we can we can give you an honorary Oakville passport. Would I be able to? You can get one. Okay, you can I get really one. appreciate that. Thank Mo you. is one of the leads of this amazing film. Mo, tell us... I mean, it's been so long. We got went through a whole pandemic. Yeah. How excited are you that this is actually coming to theaters now? Oh my gosh, I I can't wait. I've been like I have have had butterflies all night because it's one thing to watch it on your computer, mm -hmm. and it's another thing to watch it with all your friends and your family and cast and crew and it's it's been a long time coming. Yes. And it's my first feature. Oh. So okay. yeah. yeah. Perfect segue. Yeah. You mentioned family. It's it's so great to watch things with your family and the support how does that feel that your family's here with you in this moment oh it means the world i mean especially because it's about persian culture and persian families and generational stuff and so i remember when i first watched it with my family they were dying laughing at every joke they got every nuanced detail and i was like yes people get it people are gonna get it so it's so nice to watch it with them tonight what is most what do you want the audience to take away most from this film? I mean, there's there's so much incredible culture happening here. Mm -hmm. But for people who maybe aren't Persian or don't come from the background, what do you want them to take away after watching this film? I think I want people to take away that we can make movies and watch movies about people of color and racialized people being happy. Yes. You know, we can make rom-coms about Persian people, and it doesn't have to be such a heavy, traumatic thing, yes, right? Yes. Um, and I think the fact that Farhan wrote such a beautiful film is such a beautiful testament to what I love about Persian culture. I, I want it to open people's minds a bit, and I, I hope it's going to do that. I think so. Most important question of the night. People need to know what's the best Persian dish there is. We, we need to know what this is, please. Without a doubt. If anyone disagrees with me, they're wrong. I'm right. This is not an opinion. This is a fact. Korma sabzi. Ooh, but okay. korma sabzi yeah. is very strong smelling. Okay. So you have to be ready okay. for the experience. It's like bring it on. But it's yeah. the most... My grandma makes the best korma sabzi. Okay. Um, so shout out to Mama Nadi. All right. Nobody but else's grandma is here to defend themselves. No, right? okay, but, but it's a fact. Okay. Um, so go to a Persian restaurant, order yeah. korma sabzi, or if you want something more casual, kebab kubide is like the way to go. Thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited and we look forward to watching you on screen. Thank you so much, Judah.